Hello, so today I will be continuing to uh, make a, a Diablo clone uh, in Common Lisp. So I've uh, finished uh, the release for the uh, Lisp game gem, uh, for the Spring Lisp game gem of 2020. Uh, so my game finished uh, like 6 in the uh, overall rating uh, out of 22 uh, contestants, so I think it's kinda cool. Um, and so today I will be continuing uh, that uh, lovely stuff of developing the game. Um, namely, uh, today I've started, uh, well not today, uh, several days ago, I've started uh, refactoring uh, my game's uh, coordinates uh, storage. So the uh, I realized that there was a large problem with, uh, uh, with the way I've, I store uh, coordinates. Because uh, well, the agreed upon uh, way to store them is just to uh, store well for uh, isometric games. Uh, the agreed upon way is just to store uh, orthogonal coordinates, so the just normal Cartesian uh, coordinates, uh, and then just uh, cal calculate them to the isometric when you need to draw something on the screen. So you have to actually convert them to that weird angle. But uh, I've implemented it the other way, so I was uh, storing the uh, isometric co coordinates and so sometimes I was using uh, them for calculation, sometimes uh, I was uh, uh, transforming them uh, to the orthogonal coordinates on the fly, so it was kind of problematic. Uh, it, it had just uh, a lot of uh, mathematics in some weird uh, places of, of the code. Uh, and so I think um, I needed to uh, fix that in, and to make it right. And so I, uh, this week I've started uh, to make this uh, right. So I've implemented some new functions and, uh, well, actually I can show how it looks uh, now. Now it looks kind of uh, funny because now, uh, well, I don't think I uh, got all of those functions right because, uh, for instance, um, the yeah now I'm uh, marking the uh, tiles that are uh, collidable. Uh, I mean, which uh, y your character can't uh, cross, uh, like some uh, things like houses or this uh, stump. Uh, I'm marking them with the um, with these uh, crosses, with these blue crosses, and actually it's not right because these uh, crosses should be this fence, but, but this fence is like diagonal and these things are just uh, not where they should be, so I can actually traverse the fence right through. And for instance, these uh, three uh, tiles that are collidable, I think they are just uh, these houses, I think probably, or yeah, it must be those houses, and then, uh, yeah, well, anyway, I have to de debug uh, all of this stuff and uh, make it right. So I was uh, just writing comments for myself uh, about where I'm uh, using all those functions, so I'll just uh, do that. So I got this new function isometric uh, arrow screen, which converts uh, like floating point isometric coordinates to the uh, screen pixel coordinates. So I'll take a search for where I use that. I'll just use that, uh, the full list. So I'm using it besides the obvious uh, coordinate system, I use it only on map system. So let's see where it is. Okay, so isometric screen, um, chunk viewport. So I'm converting the chunks um, isometric coordinates uh, back to screen, okay, and then uh, convert them to viewport, like the uh, actual screen dimensions, and then what I do then? And then I just check where it is actually visible. I think I am the. Oh! Yeah, I'm using it also here. Um, yeah, that's some piece of code here. So here I think is the code to 
calculate the actual place of the map tile um, on the screen. Um, hmm? <clears throat> okay, so uh, yeah, I'm here also. So it's actually an offset for the um, for the tile coordinate. Um, and also I'm using it to calculate uh, the visibility. Okay, so I'm gonna comment that here. Um, so visibility, like, uh, okay, the determination, is that the word? Determination. And in here, Let's just quickly see. Um, okay, I'll just go. Um, so yeah, it's all the uh, arguments to that add sprite uh, to index batch. Add sprite index to batch. So there's just one of the sprites in the sprite batch. Um, Okay, so um, and uh, that means I'm using it in um, calculating the map tiles uh, coordinates on the screen. <coughs> okay, and also I think I'm using this. <coughs> I'm using this um, somewhere else. Yeah, I'm using it here. Power than it to screen. Um, okay. So I'm gonna write later where I use uh, those. And also, there's uh, isometric uh, to screen with uh, with an um, star. Uh, which uh, takes yeah staggering into account. So because of the uh, actual uh, tiled uh, map is staggered, so the every uh, odd row is shifted like half the tile to the left. Uh, it means that I have somewhere to take this into account uh, when calculating. So here I'm gonna also comment where I'm using it. It is used in where exactly is it used? So let's see. Um, isometric screen and dash. Oh, a star. Yeah, I think I have to escape it. Yeah, like this. So, uh, surprisingly, uh, I also use that in map system. Um, let's see where it is. So, yeah, it is for actual tile drawing and for that debug uh, lines. So the uh, isometric screen um, row. Yeah, it's actual calculation of the tiles uh, position on the screen. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna fix the comment here. Uh, task coordinates map tiles uh, offset coordinates. And that one. <coughs> Is just the uh, coordinates on the screen, um, and I think I I'm also using that somewhere. Yes, I do uh, in coordinate um, to screen. Oops, um, in to screen with the star. Okay, so now to uh, those four. So I'm using screen to isometric with a star, which again means that um, I'm, uh, I'm taking uh, staggering into the account. So screen to uh, isometric, isometric with a, with a star. Um, yeah, that's again uh, map system. 
so now uh, it is what uh, now it is the actual start and end of the um, start and end uh, indices of the chunks I have to draw um, on the screen um, okay so um, the actual start of the region so I'm using that screen to isometric Yeah, now that's something uh, completely different. Um, wait, what? How do I... Uh, oh, it is IV over. Okay. So, I'm using it in collision system. Uh, for what reason? Oh, for debug uh, drawing, I guess. Uh, yeah. So, uh, collision... Uh, okay. That's quite weird, but... Okay, I'm gonna... I think I probably... Oh, okay, it's worth mentioning. So, use... system um, where I'm using it uh, system draw blah 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 screen x uh, the character system okay uh, to screen control to record uh, that is screen x and screen y um, and so then I'm using those oh that's the function path now it goes so that's just for the debug drawing of the uh, character steps. Okay. Character of character steps. Character step. Um, and I reckon it was in player system. So uh, coordinate to screen. Um, yeah, that's also for debug drawing, um, but for what uh, actual, yeah, for a cursor, for cursor, so I call coordinate to screen to get those x and y, and those x and y I used where, um, oh wow, they used to actually uh, do debug drawing of the cursor, so... Debug uh, drawing. Let's go with debug draw for brevity. Debug draw. Character space. Debug draw. Of cursor. Nice. Um, so, am I using it somewhere else here? Yeah, I'm using it in this macro with green coordinate, which is uh, kind of big macro because it is used. I reckon in many places. So let's uh, now I'm gonna finish with those. So coordinate to screen with the star. Uh, I'm using that. Or to screen with the star. Um, wow, that's only here. Um, only in coordinate systems. So it's not really. Um, I'm gonna write that I'm not. Uh, using it yet, uh, and also screen to coordinate. 
So let's see where I'm using that. Screen to power the night with an asterisk. Uh, how do you call it? Uh, star. Um, um, in player system. Okay. So the uh, coordinate system, I don't think so. Yeah, player system. So, um, screen to coordinate with the star. Um, so I'm using it in target player uh, to calculate the actual point where I'm, where the player is uh, pointing. So, um, I'm used player and um, in this one um, that's also cursor map X and map Y and it's used for what exactly target um, yeah that's also for targeting and uh, so here I'm drawing the mobs uh, health bar and all the stuff but uh, also I'm using those variables uh, where exactly in um, absolute viewport uh, so I get those X and Y where I'm using those uh, the debug rectangle um, which is what exactly oh that's um, X and Y wasn't I already uh, haven't I already seen this um, person map and X oh I'm actually using them in conjunction so these two functions uh, orthogonal to isometric no the uh, coordinate to screen and here uh, actual screen to coordinate with the uh, with the star okay um, <coughs> so uh, and in the bucket show of, uh, of what? Of course, sir. Um, okay, that's weird, but okay. And also those uh, functions. Um, okay, uh, so coordinate uh, to screen. I'm gonna just copy, I guess. Uh, coordinate to screen. Uh, uh, so it's mostly the bug drills. Um, okay, now uh, screen to coordinate with the star. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna remove this use pin. Active player, uh, person. Alright, um, now coordinate to screen. Um, yeah, I already seen that. Wait. Um, oh, I'm using them both there, right? Coordinate uh, to screen. Oh yeah, I don't have the, this symbol. So coordinate to screen. Yeah, I'm using them both. Coordinate to screen with an uh, star. Not used. Okay. Mm. Yet. And with, with screen coordinate, is that this uh, large macro? <coughs> uh, oh, uh, with uh, with screen coordinate. Um, I'm using it kind of everywhere. So uh, here in coordinate system, that's definition. Uh, that's the export. So in camera system, item system, and sprite system. Oh, okay. So let's uh, start here. Uh, so in sprite system. Um, so uh, it's used to actually get the coordinates of the sprite on the screen. Um, <clears throat> and um, okay, I'm gonna search again. So, um, um, 
trade system in item system, but I will get to that later. And now in camera system, so that's my uses. Um, yeah, I'm using it actually to get camera's uh, position. Second. Okay, so uh, this macro, uh, what does it, which kind of coordinates does it get? So it uh, calls coordinate to screen, and that uh, coordinate is supposed to be orthogonal. Oh, wait a second. Um, map X, map Y, uh, orthogonal. Oh, yeah, that's kind of right. So I'm not right now. I'm storing just the orthogonal uh, coordinates. I. I'm not storing any isometric coordinates uh, nowhere, I'm just calculating them on the fly. So, uh, that's kind of right, I'm getting this uh, orthogonal coordinate uh, and translate it to screen. Right, okay, let's think uh, it's done. So, uh, oh yeah, and that's here, coordinate to screen with the star, yeah, it's not used. Um, <coughs> Alright, so um, there is some uh, debug output, I can't recall where it, it actually is. Um, okay, how do I actually find it? Oh yeah, here it is, in collision system. Yeah, so I was trying to debug uh, why the heck it is uh, not quite right. So, um, I'm gonna start it again to see again how wrong it is. So maybe first of all I want to uh, remove these extra numbers after the uh, floating point, because that's too much information. Um, here. So one would be more than enough. Okay, that's better. Um, also the cursor is now kinda not as it used to be, um, but okay, I will get back to that later. First of all, I wanted to uh, understand and fix this uh, collision map, because these uh, things are drawn here. Well, first of all, maybe uh, they're just drawn uh, in the wrong order, so I think I'm gonna print uh, all of those. So how do I do that? System. Um, so yeah, I have this collision system. Collision. So here it is. Okay, I can get slot value of uh, of this. Um, I always forget which is the right order. Come on, where is the? Come on, Emacs, behave. So yeah, object slot name, right? Uh, so I want get the slot uh, collision map, collision map, here it is, um, <clears throat> alright, and out of this I want to get, um, yeah, maybe I just can, well, it's a sparse matrix, which I wrote by myself, the homebrew sparse matrix, so I can call this uh, function of mine which is called uh, traverse sparse matrix, I reckon. Tra no, sparse matrix, traverse, sparse matrix, traverse, here it is. Uh, and I'm gonna call it just with, with what I can't uh, recall the actual arguments which are going there. Sparse matrix, um, traverse fn, uh, which gets cons and t, okay. Um, so I'm gonna pass a lambda, lambda of uh, c 
and whatever. So the first is uh, index and the second is uh, something which I'm not interested in. So I'm gonna print uh, this index and that's it. Yay! So, uh, what I, I am I looking at? Um, so these are the uh, coordinates that got into the collision map. Uh, I think I'm calling, I'm converting those to orthogonal. Yes, I do. Uh, so these are the orthogonal coordinates. So then, if I'm okay, I'm gonna uh, start tiled and uh, actually open uh, this this map. Um, I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. So the first, uh, I guess, um, collision is here, two and five. Uh, these coordinates two and five are isometric. So I'm gonna see. Uh, I think this first one, ten minus four, is uh, what I'm needing here. So if I call, um, call it back, uh, like Earth. Orthogonal. No, these. Yeah, right. These are orthogonal because I've converted them. Uh, if I pull it back uh, with ten and minus four, um, ten and minus four, right? Right. So what will I get? I'm getting fourteen and three. Uh, wait, what? Fourteen and three. Um, that's not what I expected, like at all. Oh yeah, it's actually a collision here. It's this little grave thing. So fourteen and three. That's kind of actually right. Um, <clears throat> so okay, I will just uh, remove that. I can't even recall why I have it here. Um, I guess ah, it's in the grass. Uh, Layer for some reason. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna do is close this and just remove um, those things. Um, I think I'm gonna even just yeah, just erase those. Um, yeah, I I reckon I was testing something uh, for the actual game, so I'm gonna start it again. <coughs> and look at the actual um, collision coordinates. All right. So um, this one, yeah. Um, wow, thirty-one, twenty-six. That's that looks weird. That certainly looks weird. Not all right. Uh, thirty-one. Oh, nope. 31 and what? 26? 26. Okay. 5 uh, and what? 28 and a half. 5 um, and 28 and a half. Oh, yeah, that's this tree. Hello! Hello, mate. How are you? So, 5 and 28 and a half. Well, that's probably right, but um, okay. I'm gonna just put uh, some something uh, that collides uh, right in the beginning of the map, so I'm I'm gonna get to debug this easier. Um, <laughs> there was some rocks here. Um, yeah, probably just this one on the layer. Um, Grass would be okay, probably. No, I'll put it in stuff. So here, um, that doesn't look right. I'm gonna put it here. Um, so this coordinate is one and two uh, orthogonal. So I'm gonna save that and I'm gonna start it again. <laughs> So 
now actually I've coded the prefab uh, preloading so it takes an eternity to start but anyway so I'm gonna look at the values in collision map now uh, and that's again 31 and 26 maybe it has something to do with oh it has something to do with the layers okay so I'm gonna just guess that this 2 and 1 is the value I'm interested in and it is kinda mm, kinda here but it is still wrong so okay 2 and 1 um, so 2 and 1 in isometric is 1 and 1.5 1, uh, point point well I can't say it is wrong mm. But uh, what if I call it with this uh, asterisk that takes staggering into account? Oh, oops, what? Uh, I don't have this. How come? Um, there's... Oops. Uh, shit, I pressed the wrong button. Okay, so... Um, orthogonal isometric, I don't have this one. Um, happen to not have uh, this one. Oh yeah, I just have those for the screen. Um, okay. <clears throat> mm. So anyway, the coordinate is uh, one and one and a half, uh, but then I uh, round those, uh, I reckon, in collision system. Um, Oh, I truncate uh, them. Okay. Um, so I observe. Um, <laughs> but that shouldn't be a big of a problem. Uh, the okay. I will just look at some other uh, almost process, for instance. Yeah, the movement of the character is now also very weird, like like 100% weird. But anyway, so I want to look. Uh, where I want to look. Um, for instance, uh, here at the end of the fence. So this tile uh, certainly should be uh, unlockable. And its coordinates are uh, orthogonal 8 and minus 2 and isometric 11 and 2. So let's see, 11 and 2. Whoa, that's certainly not right. 11 x, x, 11 x and 2. Hmm. Um, and 2y. Um, that's really weird. Um, because that's not... Um, okay, I think the uh, function that shows these coordinates for the cursor is not quite right. So here it's isometric 0, 0. It's, uh, yeah, here it's 2 and uh, 0 0.5. There's 4. Uh, there's 6. So, I think there's a factor of 2, which is kinda not actually needed uh, here. So, um, but anyway, I was fixing the collision system. So, um, so I'm calling isometric to orthogonal. Maybe I'm gonna just. Um, I'm gonna just keep this um, debug output <coughs> and just restart uh, to get it. So, I'm gonna print right now in my uh, debug console, in my REPL. Yeah, here it is. 
So, um, is it actually right? Uh, X, Y, both X or Y, ISO, or that. Okay. Um, one and two ISO. Do I have this one? And one and two. Yeah, I have. And two and five. Yeah, I have two and five. And five and five. Isometric coordinates are so hard to get right. Um, so what's there? Also five six four seven. So I guess that's just defense. Yeah, four eight four seven. So these points are defense, and they are quite uh, right actually here. But then I'm calling uh, isometric to orthogonal, and I'm calling truncate because well I'm gonna need it. Uh, I implicitly have the tiles length at 1, so I am just truncating it to the nearest integer. Maybe I have to do <laughs> some other uh, method here. Maybe not uh, truncate, but uh, something like round. I quickly try that. So that's definitely something wrong with this isometric to orthogonal uh, function. Well, actually, it looks quite innocent. So that there's almost uh, nothing to be wrong about, except maybe this factor of two, which have to be somewhere. Okay, so maybe the point is that I'm outputting that debug information in a wrong way. So this, uh, yeah, here. So what am I doing here? I'm calling coordinate. Maybe I will just call uh, the asterisk version. Um, wait, is it actually called asterisk? Um, I'm gonna quickly use Google Translate asterisk. Yeah, it is called asterisk, actually. Um, so, okay, well, let's see uh, what this will yield. <coughs> yeah, that's not uh, better at all. shifted in the wrong way, they don't fit into the actual tiles, yeah, I guess the first one was right. Okay, so this fence, if I look at that, it's just the angle that is wrong, because the fence is at this angle, and this uh, debug rooms are at this angle. So maybe if I just multiply the y uh, by some value, it will uh, be better. Yeah, that's the way I actually program things. I'm not think taking time to think, I'm just randomly uh, switching things. Um, 
Oh yeah, now now I'm gonna have to restart that, right? I don't have to. Uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna have to restart that to take into effect. feel like I have almost everything right except these factors of two which are getting somewhere here and there. Yeah now it looks almost almost right actually just with some offset and or not I will do some uh, something to test here. I'm gonna just put uh, the line of the rocks so that I'm, I'm gonna have the clear uh, point of reference. Uh, maybe something here, so like that. Just the bunch of. So I'm gonna just. Uh, it will look. It, it will not uh, look nice, but uh, it will do for the bugging purposes. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's also fine. So there's uh, six rocks here. Just the line of six rocks. So they should be quite clearly uh, displayed. On the map. <coughs> um. Yeah, I think here they are. Okay, maybe I just need to start a new map from scratch so that I just don't have a bunch of things that distract me. And also here, I also remove. I also remove that extra sprite. I'm not needing in this extra mob. I'm gonna test those later. Yeah, and I'm gonna call it map two. All right. So I think. Can I actually copy this in entire? Um, um, no, I don't think I can. I'm gonna just start a new one. Okay, 100 by blah blah blah. Uh, yes, that's right. So I'm gonna go. Oh, I already have map 2. Alright, uh, I'm gonna call it map uh, 4. <laughs> that's fun. Um, so, can I uh, at least copy a tile set? Um, Somehow, else uh, files. files. Okay. And can I now uh, import that here? Uh, browse. No, I want to import. Um, okay, maybe just. 
just do the other source obviously will be for us fun times. Um, yeah, here it is. And uh, can I import at least the properties here? I guess I can. And yeah, that's unfortunate. I still don't have the ability to have an external uh, tile set files in my engine. So I think I'm gonna have to work on that. Um, I'm gonna write it down quickly. So external tile sets. This will ease things a bit. Okay, so uh, what I'm doing here is um, right. So I'm gonna quickly put this collides property on some of those uh, things. Collides. So this do collide. And I'm gonna see which I also have here. Minus 16, minus 4. Okay, minus 16. Z, okay, Z order value of minus 16. I guess that will do uh, for start. Oh, those have 16 plus 16 of Z order. Anyway, uh, let it be 16. Right, so now I'm gonna just randomly fill it. Yeah, I'm gonna make the ground layer first. Uh, ground um, with the property, obviously, ground. Um, and I'm gonna, yeah, do the value true. And then I'm gonna add a new layer, um, which will be stuff. And on this layer, yeah, on ground layer, I'm gonna put uh, these tiles randomly. Yay! And on this layer, I'm gonna put uh, those rocks. Okay, just stop. Okay, so somewhere here, I think maybe, uh, maybe the same trick with the rocks. Oh, I'm gonna have to edit uh, those two. Yeah, here they are. Um, so I have the same uh, scheme here. All right, so lights go here. Oh, lights, and that order value of. Uh, minus 16 and Z order value of 16 here all right so I'm gonna have these rocks um, where the heck are they yeah here so I'm gonna put those on some nice straight line so I uh, I have I can just see where they are so map four actually and let's see I'm expecting to see those debug marks on this straight line. Uh, wait, what? Uh, that's not what I expected. Uh, cursor. Um, generic function components. Um, oh, I guess I actually should have the uh, mop somewhere here, somewhere like here so that it preloads uh, the system and it actually runs right yeah sure just stop um, so i'm gonna start demo now uh, hopefully it will work i don't see why it shouldn't <clears throat> okay here they are so they are obviously wrong they are on some sort of di diagonal but they should be straight uh vertical yeah vertical so 
Mm, I obviously have something wrong, and uh, that wrong is probably how I. Um, yeah, but I can't step on them, so they are actually. Yeah, so I think I have drawn them. I'm drawing them right because I can't step on those uh, invisible marks here. Um, yeah, here it is. So if I uh, put it here and try move here, the character is not moving. Um, yeah. So I guess I'm drawing them right, uh, so that they actually are where I think they are. So the problem is they uh, they are not where they should be. Um, so I'm not uh, loading those. Um, so in collision system here, somewhere here, I get uh, something something wrong. Um, Okay, so how do I actually uh, debug draw them? Uh, I actually call yeah sparse matrix traverse. Uh, so I'm looking at that collision map, um, ignoring well we can get them on the collisions, and for those positions I calculate coordinate to screen and coordinate to screen uh, actually um, expects its uh, coordinates to be orthogonal, right. Uh, wait a second, they are not... Um, oh yeah, they are. They are orthogonal because I'm converting those right here when I'm loading those. So I'm calling isometric orthogonal. That's right, I get them orthogonal. Uh, so why they are in the wrong positions? Um, I'll try and put some more to get the pattern. Oops. Just skipping one um, here. <coughs> so, let's start X. Let's start X and start Y with column. Um, oh, I think that. <coughs> so, um, okay. Because those start X and start Y are orthogonal. Oh, and I actually um, summon them with orthogonal coordinates. Okay. Um, <laughs> Yes, so I guess I actually am right. Um, <coughs> but anyway, I'm gonna just quickly test test that. Um, um, yeah, zero zero, nice. So that is kind of right. Um, yeah, uh, I guess I'll just back this debug uh, statements, just clear my console and try 
and start it again. So, I'm gonna just look at numbers. Maybe they will make more sense. Okay, so I have all of those with x coordinate of 1. That's right. Um, yeah, 1. And y coordinates. Oh, and y coordinates are actually uh, with a step of 2. Well, because of the. Because actually I have the tile height uh, 2 times more, 2 times less than tile width. Hmm. Probably I should divide uh, y values before even converting by 2. Yeah, that, that actually makes sense. Um, so I'm fixing I measure to orthogonal. So I'm gonna have this y values multiplied by half. Again. <clears throat> okay, so now at least uh, the uh, distance between those tiles is kinda right, but still they are under some weird angle um, which is not right I feel like I'm missing some very obvious and very simple thing uh, about isometric and orthogonal here like mm, those uh, coordinates and tiles uh, they're actually isometric Right? So, 0, 0, then I'm going, uh, if I go a straight vertical, oh, a straight horizontal line here, it means that in real world I'm moving like diagonally. Um, so, if I'm having a straight line in isometric world, in uh, actual orthogonal world, uh, it is diagonal too, that's okay, but uh, for some reason I feel like there's somewhere two times uh, those values are converted to isometric and to orthogonal back again. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. That's even weird that they're starting at zero zero, but actually here they're at one one. Uh, maybe I'll try and put, put it uh, somewhere further, <laughs> like here. Yeah. Right. Uh, crap. Jeez. Why I'm so bad with the mouse. Alright. <coughs> right, they are starting somewhere they shouldn't. Ah, crap. Come on, just move. Why uh, the character is moving quite weird? Um, yeah, hello. Um, so maybe I'm just no. The map editor is uh, tiled. Is it's kind of the uh, generic map editor for uh, the games. 
you can actually download it. Uh, it's free. You can download it at this uh, website, mapeditor.org. That's kind of a nice um, domain to have. Yeah, no problem. So, um, I feel like maybe even the, uh, the debug output is kind of wrong because the character kind of stacks um, or is it? Um, yeah, the cursor is also moving quite weird. I guess that's because I've changed that uh, function. Yeah, she kind of stops uh, here. Yeah, she's not moving. So I guess the debug drawing is correct. Um, Here in, uh, in the orthogonal world, they should be um, in some diagonal, but they are actually uh, in some sort of a line, but still the uh, y coordinate it's, is slowly changing. So it's a 0, then 1, then 2. So it's not also a straight line in the orthogonal world. Is driving me bonkers. Uh, I feel like I maybe even I don't have this actual maths right for this uh, isometric to orthogonal conversion. Um, yeah, so here it was also the line because the y coordinate was also changing but uh, more fast faster. So here um, it's also um, not a straight line. Here the uh, in isometric coordinates the x coordinates uh, x coordinate is always the same. Here, okay, I probably have to change it back. Like, oh, I was also trying some stuff here before. Um, what's the actual? Is that right? Um, and I feel like it's not. Um, was it actually two? Um, even worse. Um, so before we started that, yeah, probably that was uh, what I wanted. I'm gonna just restart uh, the demo again. Yeah, exactly the function I was 
I'm messing with. I even have this. Um, yeah, uh, I've even wrote uh, the actual maths to convert these coordinates on the sheet of paper. So here, here it is. Um, but actually, um, I think I maybe have some mistake uh, somewhere here. So I'm gonna just quickly check. Uh, so isometric to actual. Let's actually be reverse of that one. Boost it should be. Um, so that one is that one right. So I'm subtracting this and I'm having the half of the sum. Alright. Um, Yeah, so get uh, to get this back. I have the half of the x. Um, probably I'm gonna try to ask the um, to go from alpha uh, to get this. So, um, I wonder if they have uh, this uh, right ahead. So if I write. exactly what I wanted. Uh, Alright. Um, and if just I don't know. Mm, yeah, the definition. Sure. Modern Greek. Yeah, right. Okay. So, uh, I'm gonna just write the maths here. So, if I have uh, can I actually solve? Alright, I'm gonna just write uh, the uh, formulas. So, our formula to isometric. So, isometric x equals to our formula x minus our formula y. And then isometric y equals to half. And this equals to half uh, of x plus y. For I, y. I don't think it will understand me because now it. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> um, nope, that's not. Probably just can uh, solve it right in my head. So uh, if I have uh, this, this means that 2 by iy equals to ox plus uh, oy, which means the sum of ix plus 2 by iy is 2 by ox because oy will cancel out. So ox equals uh, half of ix plus 2 by iy, which is also half of ix plus iy. Um, so my uh, orthogonal x uh, here is uh, y plus half x. y plus half x, yeah, right, that's exactly what I have here. And to solve it uh, for uh, oh, why? Um, it is well. Um, if I get it back here, so it's i w x minus oh no. Mm, so minus o y equals uh, i x minus o x, uh, which means o y uh, is. Um, what am I doing? I'm solving. I'm doing Wolfram's alpha work for it, right in its 
uh, search field. Uh, anyway, uh, it means y is uh, ox minus ix, which equals um, uh, ox. I'm gonna put ox here, which equals half of ix plus iy minus ix, which also equals iy plus no minus minus half of ix. So iy minus half of ix. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I wrote in my on my paper. So that's the same conclusion. What the heck is this? Um, half by uh, y minus half x. This shouldn't be a half here, actually. This should be just one. Just, just remove that. Uh, okay, it's gonna make uh, everything else weird, I guess. But I'm gonna uh, just check, just quickly check the collision map again. So. Yay! It actually works. Uh, just uh, the distance is uh, twice as big as it should be, but the actual angle is right. Yay me! So I feel like um, actually the y is twice more than it should be, so the distance is that big, and x actually should be also two times more, so they are shifted to the right. Um, okay. Doesn't <laughs> matter if you are orthogonal. Um, <laughs> That's quite weird. Um, and is it uh, is the character actually colliding with those? Yes, yeah, she does. So I can step on those. Right. So the display, the debug display is still right. Um, okay. So, as a measure to orthogonal. Um, maybe I will just uh, multiply those. Uh, just in one place here, and then, um, and then if I will have uh, this multiplication all the way through my code, then I put it back uh, to this function. But I'm gonna just uh, quickly do it right here. So, do I have to go to start x now? I guess I shouldn't. So x should be. Um, twice as big and y should be twice as less oh I can actually put this um, right in truncate because it accepts second uh, argument which is the divider so for x I have it half less, which means twice as big, and for y it is just two times less. Okay, I'm gonna restart it again, and I'm gonna have a quick comment about putting this factor Oh yeah, probably I have not the actual this uh, ortho x and ortho y, but the these uh, isometric coordinates. So this actually makes sense because um, 
basically tiled there like twice like with the step two but actually um, I guess it kind of makes sense so I'm gonna put uh, these factors um, here so I'm gonna multiply uh, x by 2 and multiply y um, look at here to be nice and multiply y by a half I have this comment here okay weird why this uh, this shift they are not all in the same uh, vertical in the same coordinate but they're kind of mm, it's very weird very very weird um, yeah and uh, the astar algorithm which I have which calculates the path is most certainly wrong because it's like uh, calculated like this yellow line and there is no path here but anyway um, hmm. maybe I shouldn't be truncating maybe I should um, I don't know round here actually I already tried that but uh, I had different circumstances oops nope 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 I say Okay, it's almost almost nice, except the y values, which are again uh, too big. Hmm, that's weird. That's really weird. Um, probably I have to put back here the debug output and to just see uh, the numbers so Start it again, which starts to kind of bother me. But anyway, so will it work uh, now? Mm -hmm. So I'm rounding this uh, Y values. What if I use um, like truncate here? Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna have to restart again. Okay, maybe that's the time for some carbohydrates.
All right, so it uh, has gotten worse. Um, what have I actually changed? What was it um, before the the back out? <coughs> and then yeah I guess that was it hmm. okay, what if I put uh, truncate on both getting weirder and weirder. Mm. So depending on to which side I'm rounding the y uh, value, it is getting right and then wrong again. Um, that's proper weird. values are, well, actually always the same, but here So depending on uh, where I round this y value, so this is what I'm getting when I have truncate. So they are on the same straight line. Well, almost one, two straight lines, and then if I have a round on just Y value, uh, oh, if I just get round, um, I have the just like one line, but then the the uh, vertical distance is two times bigger, oh, uh, it's all the way around. So uh, my other option here is to call round in both coordinates and then it gets kind of right. But in a weird way. What do you mean, Uncle uh, Bugsy? Yeah, so now it's just one straight line, as it should be, but now the vertical distance is wrong. And what if I... Um, okay, I've tried truncate and uh, round. What if I try ceiling? That's the one I haven't tested yet. something interesting instead of the boring stuff I stream once in a while. Well, anyway, uh, I think the Kumalisp streaming is kinda uh, rare in Twitch, so, well, I later I will subscribe to you and see what do you stream. Uh, because, well, uh, we should, we Kumalispers should stick together, I think. So, well, now what I have here is that it's almost right, but with the offset to y and x by 1. Hmm. <laughs> so if I just uh, 
put an extra one here and here. This would be, uh, well, at least this chain of rocks would be right, I guess. <coughs> Hello, Michael. How are you? Uh, oh, I guess I should have uh, minus one there. Yeah, that's just the creepy way uh, of me programming. I'm, I'm just randomly changing some things instead of thinking for a couple of minutes. Alright. Um, so what I have now is just the x value is uh, one of... thing here is that I have uh, every time restart uh, this stuff because this event happens only when the map uh, loads. Okay, so now... Um, hmm. It feels like the x value is kinda not needing any uh, fix or maybe just to put it there, just a half of, well, but then uh, I'm storing the integer coordinates in that uh, collision map, so it wouldn't make sense. I wonder why uh, here I have to add, uh, well, nothing to uh, x, but then minus 1 to y. Um, that's kind of weird. And I think um, if I do some other stuff, so okay, here uh, I put these rocks here in different um, y value. So here x is uh, odd, it's, it, it is 3, and here it is even, it's 4. Uh, yeah, so I'll check both of those. <coughs> I feel like if I add something like, well, it feels like I have to take stagger into account uh, here, and I don't have staggered version here for the um, for these functions. So maybe I should add one 
Just like this. Mm. So, Would be led to the asterisk also. So one of the x would be yeah. no, uh, not y. I'm gonna want to start with ortho y. Uh, and ortho y would be just uh, this value. And then ortho x. this stagger right. I'm converting isometric to orthogonal and these uh, stagger values only make sense when you convert back from um, orthogonal to uh, no right. Uh, they make sense when you convert from isometric to orthogonal. Um, so for instance here the screen obviously have orthogonal uh, coordinates and I'm adding this uh, stagger value here. Mm. Oh it is actually oh I I think I got this wrong. Um, I have to multiply this by a half maybe. Um, Yeah, I think so. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, multiply by a uh, half. Yeah, thanks, Michael. I appreciate it. I was kind of. Um, surprised to see my uh, game like six six in the uh, the overall uh, rating it was kind of great uh, surprising 
Yeah, that was uh, certainly fun, uh, and I have to thank you for organizing the uh, gym. It was quite cool to have uh, this event. All right, so uh, what am I having here? I just don't. Uh, I'm gonna just remove one. Uh, yeah, this gem is always a pleasure. I always wait for it, like the half of the year. Um, okay, so I'm gonna remove that and we'll see what happens here. Okay, so, well, it's not right. But, um, but, okay, I'm gonna just add this new uh, chain of rocks, just to dip here, so they don't mix together, but with a different X too, so I have X of 4, uh, which is even, so I, I'm gonna have the odd value here, like 1, 1 is odd. Um, How do I put that? Uh, yeah. Behave. So uh, one here. This kind of clicking here. Okay, if I uh, remove this standard version here, and just use uh, just this one. That's an odd uh, isometric value. So for odd isometric value, had I uh, done it, this version here, right? So I have a number of y uh, here. Okay, that's kind of kind of right. Or is it though? So I'm actually I actually have to use here um, that quite well you know maybe it's right um, but anyway I'm gonna just test uh, this one this probably just shows how dumb I am uh, and how I program always by this. Uh, Changing things here and there. But sometimes I can concentrate and uh, think on some stuff, but uh, it will take a lot of time for me. So I'm gonna just have fun here. So why? I'm using this Y here, and then I'm using this function here. Alright. <coughs> Okay, it's 
still uh, not great. So in isometric coordinates, it's uh, a 45 degree line, kinda, yeah, uh, I guess it kinda is. So anyway, in orthogonal world, it should be a straight line. Um, let's see how it works right now. Keeping every second uh, tile, hmm. but it is certainly better than the thing I had by beginning of the stream. Um, well, it certainly feels like I'm missing the two factor somewhere. Uh, yeah, was Diablo developed using the grid system? Um, I think uh, it was. Well, anyway, if you look inside the um, Diablo's um, resources, uh, if you look at the actual sprites of uh, monsters and uh, player characters, you'll see that they are rendered in uh, eight different directions, so when they are moving, uh, they take into account the actual uh, this angle and uh, well so if there is just eight uh, different directions it means that they have uh, also this kind of uh, tile system in which they also have just eight neighboring tiles for each uh, other tile so yeah I guess uh, pretty much uh, it was I was reading uh, some stuff on the internal uh, on, on the internals of uh, Diablo, uh, so I think it is how it was done. <coughs> I was trying to get some inspiration for myself for, for this project. So yeah. I kind of uh, I feel like the people uh, that are actually making Diablo mods, uh, which was also a thing. Uh, back in the day, uh, they are actually heroes because they are uh, doing a crap lot of reverse engineering and they are actually knowing a lot of this internal stuff and well, they are, sometimes they are making the incredible things. Yeah, uh, what do you think about hexagonal? Uh, yeah, uh, the hexagonal, am I pronouncing it right? The uh, hexagonal uh, grid is kinda uh, cool thing. But, well, for the different kinds of games. Um, so yeah, I don't think in uh, Diablo or in, in any Diablo clones, for that uh, matter, uh, there was actually the uh, hexagonal uh, grid. Um, but it is certainly used uh, in other kinds of games in some um, uh, real-time strategies uh, or uh, more like in uh, how do you call it step-by-step -step, uh, strategies yeah and I feel like for uh, hexagonal grid the um, mathematics would be uh, a, a bit even harder to grasp so well 
yeah, it is Emacs. Uh, if you're interested about uh, my configs, I'm gonna just drop it uh, in chat in one second. Uh, files. So my uh, username is uh, Loki on the uh, GitHub. And, well, everyone should have their dot files somewhere in GitHub. So. Um, I'm gonna have to make something about these skips. Um, well, the best thing would be obviously to understand why they are happening. So I'm multiplying here x by 2 and y by half. I think I want to test uh, the other so it was starting at even uh, x. Now I'm just uh, gonna start it here <coughs> and see if it also skips uh, the files. skips but now the different tiles hmm that's weird uh -huh. so yeah I certainly feel like I should be adding the remainder by two um somewhere I just don't quite grasp where here is that some uh, tiles are missing but actually that's uh, because of uh, the rounding I'm doing here so I'm doing ceiling so I guess yeah for some um, for some coordinates uh, these results are just the same so for instance for this uh, bunch of rocks the second one the uh, coordinate is just the same uh, as for the previous one, so they just slip into one. I'm starting to think that maybe I actually have to store uh, the floating point uh, coordinates here in collision map, because well, the the whole idea of this collision map was to quickly uh, test if there is some uh, tiles that you can uh, walk into by just one uh, lookup in the hash table and uh, two checks on integers just basically two calls for equal uh, function so if i will store uh, floating point coordinates uh, this one uh, equal will translate to actually two floating point operations so i'm gonna have to well call an uh, apps uh, the absolute value and then check it is less uh, or greater within a uh, range of one with the point in question so it will be actually slower 
but the thing is uh, here the uh, greatest problem here is that I have the tile width two times greater than tile height so the width is uh, 64 pixels and uh, height is 32 mm, and that is I feel the source of all that weird problems so I'm gonna probably have to um, multiply somewhere by 2 and then uh, divide back when I'm uh, well getting those values back hmm. but then again how uh, I will make these tests uh, quickly no uh, there should be some uh, proper conversion here um, yeah, I actually have to uh, account for for this uh, stagger thing. So then again, I won't have to add this minus one here. Um. <laughs> Here I have uh, the ortho y value of this. And then, uh, yes, okay, so I'm gonna compile that and see how it behaves. So if I'm calling isometric to our orthogonal, come on, with like, for instance, 0, 0, um, yeah, that's not very informative. Yeah, probably I will just go with. Um, with something that is missing here. So for instance that one uh, 0, 43. 43 here. So yeah. So it's converted. Yeah, I, I'm gonna just put it here. 0 and 43. Um that's weird. Oh yeah, I just divide uh, those, I multiply x by 2 and then, well, it's still 0, but anyway, I'll just put it here for future reference, and then here I multiply it by half, here, double. Um, Alright, so I'm getting 21.5, like this, yeah, exactly. 21.5 and then uh, the previous value was uh, 44 so I'm getting like this one and then by calling ceiling on 21.5 I'm getting 22 yeah exactly so that is that's the source of the problem so uh, how can I actually fix it the problem here is that um, uh, then if I uh, convert it back um, to isometric um, of 22 and 22, um, so I'm getting 0, 22. Uh, then I guess somewhere I multiply by 2 again and get in 44 as y so I'm getting back this value 0, 44 so what I want to be getting for this is 0, 43 so I want to be getting uh, yeah right so I want to be getting 21.5 here for that next tile um, <clears throat> do I have the star version of orthogonal isometric? No, I don't. Um, yeah. Okay. So um, I want to be getting here twenty-one point five. Um,
for that other thing but I want it to be integer that is the whole idea mm -hmm. so uh, if I call This version, which I am calling uh, now, with uh, no, not this, this one, um, the version with the asterisk. So I'm getting yeah again, 22 and 22. And if I'm here at 43, uh, 43, yeah, that one that is missing. So I'm getting 22 and 21.5. But then I'm getting this feeling of it. Oh, that's hard. back from uh, orthogonal uh, is a measure but then again how can I tell if this 22 and 22 is this one this tile or this one uh, that's no way to tell because well they are both integer so I think maybe the idea here should be store um, the value of x multiplied by 2 it will just make an extra multiplication integer multiplication by 2 which is not a, a big performance uh, concern so uh, I'm gonna just quickly make a to do for later so maybe um, store Is it x value that's uh, that is the problem? Um, yeah, actually, which one is the problem? I'm calling this <coughs> so if I'm converting back. I'm just thinking which of the coordinates should I be storing uh, multiplied by 2 in my collision map. Uh, maybe it would be just one uh, value of x. So, okay, orthogonal uh, to isometric 22 and 22. And then 22 and, for instance, 21 25. Yeah, that's not... Mm -hmm. So is it just an X value? Let's... Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just make a vague comment about that. I still have these oddities uh, with with a new coordinate system uh, in some places. Yeah, 
the collisions are almost right. I'm gonna think about that later. So the uh, picking of the enemy uh, it works kind of right, actually. Yeah, I think so. So if I, yeah, I can even attack that. I haven't commented out that. <laughs> That's fun. Um, so even that works uh, quite right. Come on, uh, don't be stuck. No, just unstuck. problem that is left is this angle so I've added uh, this actual uh, angle that is uh, the arc tangent uh, arc of uh, half which is like 26 degrees or something which is the actual angle difference between isometric and orthogonal systems uh, and it kind of works but uh, for some uh, yeah like for this angle like straight uh, diagonal here. It feels quite unnatural, actually. Uh, for instance, like here. Uh, come on, just stop. Yeah, and here. So this straight 45 degree, or, or anyway, this uh, straight diagonal feels a bit off. Yeah, so it won't feel good. This one, um, yeah, and certainly this one. Um, but if I move uh, vertically, it's even worse. Yeah, and it, yeah, mm, not so good. If I move here horizontally, come on, just move. So it's kind of right here in this case. Here, here. So it feels okay, I guess. Um, maybe I'll try a different uh, angle here. So where I have the um, sprite system. So I have this uh, where it is. Yeah, this isometric angle, which is yeah, arc tangent of a half. So if I add here, oh yeah, that's an inline function, awesome. I'm gonna that. So if I'm adding here, like for instance, 30 degrees, which is um, how many in radians? Um, <coughs> yeah, I'm gonna just uh, not bother and copy. So I think I have to restart the whole uh, list image because well the function was in line. Um, and quick load uh, my engine again. Horizontal movement feels okay. Let's 
save. Uh, yeah, let's try vertical. Mm. Well, the uh, star results are so weird that I can tell if that's okay or not. Yeah, let's see. Uh, the other one would just would you please move as I want you to. No, it's not right. I think it was even better with that previous value. Maybe I should uh, just remove the debug grid so that I, um, it doesn't uh, bother me. Um, Also, the uh, debug sprite is kinda uh, distracts me. So that angle that uh, our tangent of Actually, that's the um, the correct angle value uh, for the dimetric uh, coordinate system. But since uh, well, all the uh, games with uh, almost all the games which are called isometric are actually using a dimetric projection, actually that is uh, at least mathematically correct. The value of the 30 degrees I put there is not quite right. So I'm gonna try to uh, get it back. will happen if I subtract uh, this angle. I haven't tried that. No, that's not right at all. Um, yeah. And what if I add uh, nothing, just zero? Uh, yeah, that's also not quite right. Thing for me to fix would be just the, the weird uh, ways of a star algorithm, which does this like turns everywhere. I will I will have just uh, to penalize uh, an extra turns. Yeah, here it is.
Okay, so after that, I think I will be okay uh, just to commit it and continue with other stuff. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have started with this large uh, refactoring um, right away. But, well, I feel like it would be um, more of a problem uh, if I would left it here and started with other things. And then just added a bunch of functionality on top of this ROM uh, coordinate system that I had. Um, so. I guess I'm gonna just rip the band-aid. So yeah, like for this case, this certainly not the right. I will just uh, put it the back uh, print of a Yeah, maybe I should convert it to degrees. I can't speak radians. Radiance, so uh, then I'm gonna multiply it back like 100. So, yeah, that's you know, what I should write here. It's uh, divide by, by 180. Oops, and boom. How do I get out of this without restarting? compile this and then um, I guess you value of I don't know zero yeah now it kind of uh, works okay so um, that's even negative maybe the problem is that uh, first I see whether negative or not and just then maybe I'm gonna no. yeah that's problem are you able to see your changes after editing files without restarting your program uh, how often do you restart the program yeah so that certainly depends on what a change is so for instance to make this happen like this thing I'm changing here right now uh, I had to make this function non non inline. So before in the uh, well to make it more performant, I made it inline, which meant uh, also uh, that uh, if I change some something in that function, uh, it will not change in the running program. But right now I've command, uh, commented this uh, line about inline, restarted the whole list image, and well now I can change thing, things like right uh, on the move and they will reflect instantly in the program because well, this, fu this function is uh, constantly changed. So that depends on the actual change but uh, for, for the most cases uh, I don't have to restart uh, the whole thing. But again sometimes I have to. 
so that depends. So yeah, I was I was thinking if I do uh, this uh, addition after those checks. So blah blah blah. Like for instance here. <coughs> yeah, here the thing is that the angle is negative. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's uh, the angle before the adjustment. Oh yeah, that's that famous um, uh, video by C. Beggars, uh, in which he changes uh, the code on the fly. I actually had this video as the uh, inspiration for me to, well, program stuff, uh, program games and Lisp. Because, well, actually, it, Lisp is a very dynamic language and it allows you to do uh, that stuff change things on the fly in the running program. Uh, I think uh, very little uh, modern systems allow that. By systems I mean programming languages and uh, begin development engines, etc. So yeah, what was I? Uh, I was going to add this uh, correction value here and then a bit I think you're totally right. After programming in some lisps and uh, certainly in common lisp I feel like every I feel like this uh, how it is called the tenth gr green spoon rule I reckon that every language is just the uh, bug ridden and uh, non-specified uh, version of common lisp. I feel it is kind of right. So yeah. All right. So I'm making this, for instance, 153 degrees to 179 degrees. So I'm turning it a little bit there. All right. So for instance, if I go there, I have minus 27, which turns to zero, which is kind of right. And then if I go there. Why it is 27? Maybe it is something wrong in my character system code. Um, I reckon I'm setting angle somewhere here. Uh, direction, blah 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 blah. Yeah, here. Face target. Swipe and that's right. Follow path. And that's, that's it. And that's it. <coughs> so here, if the uh, path uh, is not empty, then I'm following. So 
So uh, we can maybe uh, add some debug uh, output here. I got it uh, right. Yeah, here's the question. Uh, first, this is made in then Second, uh, thank you. No, I'm not using uh, SDL. Yeah, I'm using Allegro. It is uh, a bit different. I was using SDL, as a matter of fact, uh, before. I was trying, at least. But then I've stumbled upon some problems. Uh, I was trying to select the uh, GUI uh, framework, like the graphical uh, user interface, to uh, draw later uh, some things. And uh, I've picked uh, Nuclear, it's a tiny C library that is easily embeddable in other stuff. And then the problem with uh, SDL was if you were using uh, Nuclear on top of SDL, uh, the problem was that you had to use some other SDL uh, API to do your actual drawing. So you had to like change different to the different functions. And um, well, if if I was using uh, the function the functions of SDL that I was using before, it was just drawing a black screen and then the GUI on top of it. Uh, so I had to uh, see which other libraries were available for common list. Uh, I've seen some uh, libraries that integrate with uh, Nuclear, and one of those was uh, Allegro. And I actually uh, seen that there are. Uh, bindings for common list uh, for Allegro, so I've tested it, it worked fine, so I'm kind of stick with it. Uh, and I kind of like it, It's uh, I feel like uh, it uh, it can do all SDL uh, can do, but uh, it's kind of probably nicer to program, I don't know. Well, anyway, I kind of like it more than SDL, but uh, again, feature-wise, they are like on par, they can do almost the same amount of stuff. So yeah, um, where was I? So I'm facing some stuff. Yeah, of course it is online. Christ sakes. Um, so I'm gonna have to restart that. Um, yeah, I also urge you to uh, check out any Lisp uh, dialect, well, preferably common Lisp, but uh, there are a lot of uh, awesome uh, Lisp dialects. You can also use uh, SDL in common Lisp. I just well, um, had these problems with uh, GUI framework, so I switched to whatever. So yeah, I'm gonna have to restart uh, the image. Then we pull up my engine again. Uh, I have been using uh, SBCL because I have been stuck on Linux. Yeah, is, SBCL is in fact a nice uh, well, default uh, implementation of Lisp. Uh, I kind of like it more than others. Well, I haven't had uh, much experience with other implementations except uh, CCL, uh, which is quite nice too. 
uh, and I've been trying uh, ECL, uh, but it was uh, well, it's kind of tricky beast. <coughs> Alright, so I'm ready to just go. Okay, uh, where was I? So yeah, the path. Uh, the path that I'm facing. Okay, like for this um, moment, which feels wrong when I'm moving uh, horizontally uh, below, like no vertically. I'm always uh, messing them up. So here, um, so I'm facing from 27 and minus 9 to 20 to 27 and minus 9. Uh, like what? And the angle is minus 153 degrees. Um, <coughs> so, uh, how do I fix the negative values? I kind of forgot. Um, so it's my system uh, minus minus you get by 2 pi, 2 pi, uh, and 2 pi are no, not degrees. Uh, on the other way around. Uh, 100 and oh, 360. So I'm adding here 200, uh, 360 degrees. So okay. So the value, the actual value here is minus 33 is 200 uh, degrees. All right. is a bit more than that angle. So I'm counting angles from the east direction, which is there. So that uh, is zero, and then that one is 180, and a bit there is 200. Well, that's not what I'm seeing here. So if I'm, if I will add this um, difference, which is roughly 26 degrees. The difference between orthogonal and isometric uh, systems. It's now 233, which is like north, which makes no sense at all. Um, the heck? Here it's now 108. values are like the same, so I'm going from 33 and minus 4 to 33 and minus 4, like what? Um, Probably I have just uh, to make the speed uh, a bit less. So um, and I set it in here for my initialization. Um, I set it in the character I reckon. Speed is two. I'm gonna set it to like a half. Let's see what happens. So I, I had to restart it again because well I've changed the initialization code for the game itself. All right. Uh, so what happens now? Yeah, that's better. Okay. So if I'm moving vertically. Well, the degree is kind of right. So I'm just trying to, um, well, let's move again. Um, <coughs> so, from 
8 minus 8. types to get a bit more performance out of SBCL. So, okay, so now the numbers are better. Okay, so what happens now? Let's start. Yeah, sure. What is uh, F star? Uh, I mean, what it does? Can you still question this from blah blah blah? Each one of the one from at least a few star fusion of time operations. You don't put your number in blah blah blah. Declaration that is ignored. Assertions which are going to be trying to allow it. That looks nice. Looks nice. Uh, I don't have a much of a problem to have the extra declaration on top on top of the function. But yeah it kinda mm, it is kind of uh, kinda extra uh, syntax on top of the well standard uh, CL syntax. So I don't know I kinda feel um, I, I don't feel good about an extra syntax. <coughs> That's probably the reason that I'm procrastinating at learning closure because I want I wanted to learn closure like maybe two years ago and I still haven't gotten past uh, Hello World so maybe that's the reason. Okay, so what is the wrong uh, point here is that when I'm moving horizontally just below. Um, the degree uh, of the angle of uh, a, char a character is kind of wrong. It feels wrong anyway. So here it is. Zero. Mm. Come on, just move. Yeah, here. Yeah, that was weird. 17 and minus 3 to 18 and minus 2 and the angle was minus 150. Well, right now actually the angle was kind of okay. Um, I'm going to quickly just look at the uh, area sprite. So which one should be that? Um, if zero is east, uh, that should be two. Um, it should be idle two. Mm, that one. Yeah, of course. Just without any weapons. So here, idle two. Um, is that the same? Or is it uh, idle 3? No, it's not. No, it's idle 2. Um. Yeah, I think it is. So idle 2 is uh, the south direction. So it is kind of right right now. 
um, why it is yeah here um, in the walk oh no idle two is is not south actually what the heck so uh, zero is east as it should be then the one is um, 22 degrees um, clockwise so here it is then 2 is uh, well at least it should be south that does not feel like south at all um, again. maybe I have my uh, sprite messed up and that would be fun to uh, get it just now so 3 yeah 3 feels like the actual south or does it as I check 4 yeah right mm. oh I remember I just uh, I calculate the actual uh, direction well the thing is it's okay for me to have like more direc directions than um, eight uh, at least this sprite uh, of uh, heroin has like 16 directions but it is converted to angle values uh, properly so that's not an issue an issue here is that the degree is the angle is quite wrong so this is uh, I reckon this one yeah I think it is so mm. so if I have here 16 directions so uh, it means that this one is southeast second one um, and here I'm not facing southeast I'm I should be facing south um, yeah, that's the problem. why is that happening so I'm facing number one Seven because it was minus one hundred and fifty-three. What happened here? Two hundred seven. Um, that's uh, some bug that's happening here. I feel like it's somewhere in uh, that character system. Just put a quick to do also here. And well, I'm gonna debug that uh, later. Right now, I am just uh, way too tired. Um, so, yeah, in my uh, place, that's actually uh, like almost 10 pm. So, I think I'm gonna be. Um, and in the today stream um, so the next one I think uh, will be on the next uh, Saturday 
so well yeah thanks for being with me um come back again um and well be careful and goodbye yeah thanks mate i appreciate it all right so goodbye